Hello everyone, thank you so much for watching. I know it's been quite some time, but I'm back. Uh, today's topic, if you can infer by the paintings behind me, will be about Picasso. But this time, <laughs> it will be my, my top 10 Picasso paintings, not in any particular order, because I don't think that I have just one that's my uttermost favorite. But I do have 10, and this actually was really hard to pick just 10 because a lot of Picasso's work I like. So let's get right to it. But before we, you do that, make sure you like, subscribe. <laughs> subscribe, 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 subscribe. So the first painting that I, that it's on this 10, top 10 list, is one from his Blue Period, which is the old guitarist, was painted in 1903. What does Blue Period mean? I've heard about it, but I don't know what that means. Uh, all these paintings were painted with primarily blue colors. They're very monochromatic. Oh. Uh, they're all very kind of sad. Oh, so he's blue because he was sad? Yeah, and the color was blue too. Like, he started painting these after his friend uh, Casagay was committed. He shot himself. Ooh. So okay. Committed suicide. Well, he actually shot himself. He actually tried to shoot the girlfriend he was dating, <laughs> but he missed. And then after that, he shot himself. But the reason why he was upset is because he had left him. Apparently, he had some sort of erect dysfunction disorder. Oh couldn't. god, it's okay. <laughs> <laughs> and he couldn't <laughs> love her in all aspects of oh. of the word and term love. <laughs> but anyway, that one is uh, on the list, the guitarist. Uh, old guitarist, by the way, and it's, you can see the image, is an old man playing the guitar and it's very melancholic in nature. Uh, the next one is The Dream, painted in 1932. This is a little bit more cubist. Uh, and it was of his 24-year-old Marie Therese Walter, and it was one of his wives actually. And the style is a little bit of fauvism, just because of the bold color, very distinct lines, and things like that. And in the picture, this woman is kind of self-pleasuring herself. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, that's number two. Number three is, and I'm probably gonna butcher this because the word is French, but it's Les Demoiselles de Avignon, or Las Señoritas de Avignon in Spanish. Painted in 1907. Say it in English. Uh, the ladies of the, the ladies from Avignon, and this is yeah. basically uh, women who worked in a brothel that were prostitutes. Whoa! But anyway, this painting was the beginning of Cubism, and an art critic who saw this painting, he was so shocked by it, he said, "One day they'll they're gonna find Pablo Picasso hanging by the side of this painting." They were so horrified by it. <gasps> but I, I mean, obviously, Pablo Picasso was gonna hang himself and. <laughs> had a very successful career after this painting and a lot of artists are inspired by the style of this painting. It was kind of, this painting I would say started Cubism. And then number four is Guernica or Guernica, painted in 1937 and this painting is about the Spanish Civil War. Uh, the Nazis came in with, I guess, fighting jets, or I don't know what the terminology is, and they bombed the Spanish town of Guernica. So because of that, uh, Pablo Picasso was commissioned to paint a painting, you know, depicting that day. And this painting is really huge. I just saw it when I went to Spain. It's in the Reina Sofia Museum. And it's just black and white, very monochromatic. Uh, the next one, number five, is Boy with a Pipe. This is from his Rose period. And his Rose period was after the Blue period when he had moved to Paris and he would go to a lot of like circus. Circuses, I guess, where the Danebeck did. So a lot of his paintings depict circus pictures and acrobats and things of that nature, and this guy is holding a pipe, and this is actually one of my favorite, favorite Picasso paintings. I just, the, the look in the boy's face, I love that he's wearing a crown of roses. <laughs> Go very, figure. Very, very good painting. And now, uh, the next one is number six, La Vie, or La Vie, La, La Vie, which is in Cleveland. And this is the, another one from the Blue Period, and I don't know, there's just so much going in the painting, the way the guy is looking. La vie, does he mean the life or the... I think so, the life. I don't know if you speak French, let us know what that La means. Vie. But anyway, there's a lot of going on in this painting and the, the faces are very uh, engaging, even though no one's really looking directly at you. But this is number six, painted in 1903. Uh, number seven is Boy Leading Horse. I actually saw this when I went to you know, New York in the Museum of Modern Art, the MoMA. Oh, our favorite museum, by yeah, the way. Yeah, it's very big. <laughs> And uh, Picasso had an obsession with horses and bulls, and there's actually a book that I own that it's about all the paintings he did that depicted horses, and this is in that book too. 
This is a very, very uh, beautiful painting. This one was painted in 1906. Uh, and number eight is two women running on the beach. You know what? I was looking for this book <laughs> all over today and I could not find it. Yay! Because I thought this was going to be like a, a big help in determining like which my top 10 would be. Oh. And I didn't find it. Thank you, Alan, for finding it. But You're anyway, welcome. this painting is also in this book. But you know what? Now that I'm going through it, I think I, I did pick the ten that I really actually like the most. So anyway, in this painting, it's two women just cavorting on the beach. The style is very... This is uh, number eight, and it's two women, you know, running on the beach. Uh, number nine is Olga. Yeah, Olga in armchair. This is actually one of my favorite favorites. It's just a very beautiful, beautiful painting. And Olga was Russian ballerina, and which became his first wife. Really? Yeah, yeah. Oh. She had a lot of money. So oh, I think Picasso. Smart yeah, yeah, he was smart. He's like, how can I make you know, it? So yeah. that's all you need? Like somebody rich to take care of you? To make or it be pay? very talented. He would have done it on his own anyway. At this time, he was pretty well established. And then the last one is Jacqueline with Flowers, painted in 1954. This is this is on the list because I actually redid this painting on my own. And I'll put the picture of my version of it. So this is the last one. I hope you enjoyed the video. Leave, let me know in your comments what are your top 10. Or at least your top 1. Or your top 1, your favorite Picasso paintings. I hope you enjoyed the video. Please like, share, subscribe, and leave your comments below. And Let's promote art. Promote art and buy local art. It's better to have something in your house that is original versus something that was printed a thousand times. Yeah. But anyway, adios y bye.